Hello Joy, how are you today? I don't feel good. I feel so weak and I'm so tired. So um, are you feeling any um, shortness of breath? Yeah. And from what we can see, um, you have bruising in your arms also? I have a lot. So um, last week you came in for a test, right? Yeah. So based on the, the results of the test and uh, the signs and symptoms that you are showing, it confirms that you have leukemia. What? I'm really sorry. Um, we will do everything we can to help you. And um, a nurse will come in later to answer all of your questions, if you have any. And um, we'll go through um, every treatments, possible treatments that we can do for you. Is that okay? That's so okay. I have lots of things to us. Help me, please. We will try our best. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Robert and I am your nurse today. I understand, uh, Joy, that uh, you have been diagnosed with leukemia, right? Yes, um, and I just want to know what is leukemia because I'm not really sure about what it is. Okay, so Joy, let me explain you what leukemia is. So, uh, leukemia is a cancer that starts uh, in the blood stem cells. It is usually formed in your bone marrow and resulting in lots and lots of abnormal cells. It is also um, the mutation of DNA resulting in um, uncontrolled uh, proliferation of um, malignant leukocyte. I'm going to talk about leukemia. Uh, leukemia is a cancer of blood cells. It is a group of cancer usually formed in the bone marrow that results in lots of abnormal cells. It is a mutation of DNA resulting in the uncontrolled uh, proliferation of malignant leukocyte, resulting in decrease of production and function of normal blood cells. So one of the key concepts is homeostasis and I will relate it to leukemia. So when you are suffering from leukemia, your red blood cells, platelets and white blood cells will be affected you can suffer from anemia because of the lack of red blood cells. You can have disruption in the blood coagulation because of the decrease in platelets, which then it will cause for um, more bleeding to occur than usual if you get a wound or something. And you are also more prone to reoccurring infection because of the other white blood cells that are affected. When we think about protein, protein results from our DNA, and if we alter the DNA, we're going to alter the protein which we produce. And proteins are very important as they produce signals and help regulate and control normal cell growth and differentiation.